Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to Melbourne for the opening race of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to the Australian Grand Prix. The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. Its combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners make it a tricky track when it comes to overtakes. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. Can Mercedes start with victory in their bid to win a seventh consecutive constructors title? Could Ferrari or Red Bull establish an advantage early on? And with 22 cars on the grid, how quickly can the new team find their footing? Well, it's great to be back, Anthony Davidson. We've got a lot to talk about this year. That's right, Crofty. It felt like a long winter, but it's good to finally be back. I have to think the usual suspects will battle it out at the front, but there are always going to be some teething problems early on in the season, so whoever can keep on top of their issues will have the advantage today. As I mentioned earlier, we're up to 11 teams this season, with a new entry run by, well, of all things, an owner-driver. That's something we haven't seen in this sport since Hector Aback over four decades ago. So how are they looking? so far. It's hard to imagine how a small operation like that could survive in the ruthless world of Formula One. And yet here they are, first ever race looking surprisingly strong. But there are no points for qualifying. Let's see how they fare in the Grand Prix proper. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Alexander Olbon lines up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Johnson and Vettel, Ricardo, Perez, Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, Stroll, Ocon. Daniel Kvyat and Gasly, Raikkonen, Boccalacci, Kevin Magnussen and Roman Grosjean, Norris, Giovinazzi, Russell and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? It's a decent start. Good job. Good job, nice overtake.
are in first position, front of the pack. Bottas is behind you. Okay, the gap behind is 1.1 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. We're leading our teammate by 12.5 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 19th. The time last lap was a 1 minute 43.6. behind. The gap behind us is 1.8 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. As things stand, we'll be leading the championship. First position, front of the pack. Bottas is behind you. The gap to the car behind is 2.7 seconds. They're on fresh softs. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. P1, race win, well done. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today and they've taken a fantastic win.
So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Johnson takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to Johnson. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes moved to the top of the table. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.
fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. You took the top points today. Was it a comfortable win? You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. Great. Well, that's everything.